October 7th massacre was for many of us a shock that we've only heard that happened to Jews in the diaspora. For us Israelis who serve in the army, and many of us serve so that there's gonna be a contract, unwritten contract between the country and the citizens, that the citizens will never be neglected on the border like they were in October 7th. Israel needs a paradigm shift on security, on diplomatic, and on economic level. The paradigm in which you can live next to a terrorist organization and make sure that they will be quiet by helping them make money, transfer money, and pray that they will not shoot rockets at you is gone. The security paradigm shift says that we can't live there with a terrorist state that we can't finance it without money. Terror cannot operate. And when I talk about a paradigm shift, I'm talking about a diplomatic paradigm shift as well. Without a diplomatic hand, you are fighting with one hand only. Thinking about the day after could be an exit strategy from the war that gets you to the right place. So together with the US and Europe, in NATO, in the UK, and a bunch of other enlightened countries and the Arab countries. You have Egypt, you have the UAE, you have Bahrain, you have Saudi Arabia. These are real countries that want to see Gaza in a different way, but want to see the region in a different way. And then finally, economically. We, after the war, need a new deal for the North and for the South and Israel in order to get the young people back to their place and have a quality of life looking forward. And the legacy of life has to do with economic development, with jobs, and you guys have been an amazing partner to our initiative in the galley. There's a food tech industry park. There's a micro industry site. There's a food tech incubator. Migal, which is 150 PhDs. The galley Research Institute, Tel Chai College, the International Food Tech Center, and the startup studios. It's the fastest growing ecosystem with 180 startups with 27 strategic partnerships with international players and with amazing research facilities. We're doing all of this together and we're changing a region, the Upper Gala. We are at a crossroad in Israel. We are at a crossroad of Jewish people. The kind of things that we are doing together in Israel today is light onto the nation. And if we do it, we will give the next chapter the young people in Israel in a way that they've never seen before by our partnership together. And remember that the victory image of Israel is not just on the battlefield because our legacy is a legacy of life.